Salutations, I'm Rob Chapman. I'm Captain Santa. This is Paul. Yeah. And these are our beautiful elves here today because it's Christmas. Yeah! Woo! And uh, yeah! Paul's here today to tell us about uh, some wireless products that Line 6 make. Now, it's kind of tough to do a video on wireless because I'm not really sure. They don't really sound of anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell you about the features of the three different types of wireless systems that they make. And then Rob and myself and Paul are going to see how far down the industrial estate that my telephone's ringing in my... What an amateur. Amateur <laughs> hour. <laughs> Elves, get him with, with tinsel. <laughs> tinsel him. Um, as I was saying, um, before I got attacked by tinsel, it's kind of hard for us to sort of to, to tell you how these sound, although you are going to hear them. Um, but we're going to tell you a little bit about the features. Paul's going to tell us about the features. And then we're going to walk down the industrial estate that the uh, Anderton's warehouse is on and see how far away we can get from the receivers. So, Paul, tell us about the lineup. Okay, we've got three different models for the guitar, guitar systems. We've got the G30, which is the one that I have here. So, very, very you. simple and straightforward. You model it. You're the models. <laughs> there you are. Do like a QVC style. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> yeah, so sort of please. So, just imagine they're not here. So the beauty of this system is, first of all, the quality, incredible quality. It works on two point. It's a digital radio system, so there's no interference or anything from that. It doesn't lose any kind of um, quality like a normal radio system. It's not compounding the signal. It's not d d um, affecting the sound quality. Um, very, very simple and plug-in and play. Get your get your, your transmitter. <laughs> So select one of the six frequencies on the G30. One of the what yep. frequencies? So the six, well, six, six. Cha six channels, sorry. Yep. Six, ch six channels on there, match it on the receiver, and you're ready to go. Now, and legal all around the world. Because these are all digital systems. Now, there's been a big change in wireless over the last four or five years. Um, historically, you would have, uh, wireless systems would have broadcast across uh, UHF or VHF frequencies, um, <coughs> which are analog radio frequencies. And over the time, uh, the, the frequencies that have been deregulated or have been uh, the frequencies you've been allowed to use in the UK for wireless have gradually been sold off to uh, mobile phone companies and other digital providers, making it harder now to use old fashioned analog systems without getting interference from other uh, wireless uh, users. 2013 is going to be a big year. 4G, you know, the mobile thing, 4G is, gonna, is going to um, make old-fashioned analog systems on channel 69 and 70 even harder to use. So more and more wireless manufacturers are going over to a digital system, which as Paul said, I, I, if you want to go to the Anderton's <laughs> website, it's technically explained um, as to why a digital system is, is different. But essentially it's a tiny, tiny data stream that's kind of shot from between the, the transmitter and the receiver. It doesn't take up as much bandwidth as, as analog and therefore that's why One, you can get... Ones and zeros. Yeah, you, can, zeros. you can get hundreds and hundreds of channels in the same space without them interfering. So, that was the, the G30, and that's the yeah. most affordable one, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, I quite like the fact that the receiver on the G30 is actually almost like a pedal, um, and quite often if you've got a, a traditional style receiver like this one, it's great if you're in a sort of a pro setup, but if you're a guitar player that's just using three or four pedals into an amp and wants to go wireless, it's actually quite a pain to have to run the cables from this back to your pedals, isn't it? Yeah. So this is kind of groovy because it can just sit on the floor next to your pedals and you can just run around going wireless. Yeah. It's a bit plasticky, but I think that's kind of um, what you'd expect even from its competitors given the price that this sells for. Um, so I would say that this is the kind of system that someone that was using this you know, for fun, you know, like a guy who's maybe just doing it in a band a couple of times a month, you know, um, that would be a cool system for him. Yeah, absolutely. And particularly for bass players as well. The yeah. frequency response goes right down to 10 hertz, so for our five string basses and all awesome. kinds of. So, G50. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between the G30 and the G50? Well, in terms of, in terms of the call. <laughs> house! Shut up! Shut up, house! Be quiet! Just, go on. I was going to say you just can't get the elves these days. <laughs> <laughs> 
In terms of quality, they're exactly the exactly the same. Um, in terms of the actual the, the sound quality, yeah. um, but we have got more channels on there. Um, <laughs> and for the more pro user, the, the actual case, the, the, yeah. the transmitter is made of metal on there. You can, you can tell that. So this is twelve channels. So that's twelve yeah. systems simultaneously, yeah. as opposed to the thirty, which will do we'll six do, systems do the six, simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to model that? There you go. Look. So you get the, the metal case. You get the there's a tuner out on there. Um, cool. So, and you also got a battery, like a battery <laughs> indicator as well. It, these all work on. I think it's triple A batteries as well. Where you can use re rechargeable batteries in there. So there's a bit of a warning there. If you're going to use rechargeable batteries, yep. one of the things um, that you get from an analog battery, like a you know regular Duracell type battery, is that. Um, you get about two or three hours use where the battery itself is kind of not quite giving you the full nine volt, uh, but you'll still, the wireless system will still work, but you'll just notice the range starts to decrease. With um, a rechargeable battery, what you tend to do, what you tend to find is as soon as they reach their kind of nine volt charge comes to an end, they just stop working. Mm -hmm. So it can be a bit embarrassing if you're, you know, middle of a gig. Um, yeah. so, so there's no way you can get interfered by taxi ranks and things because it's not operating on a radio, it's operating no. digitally. The only thing on digital, but I mean, there's loads and loads of stuff on forums about should I buy digital, should I buy analog. Um, my personal feeling is is um, digital probably is the future of, of wireless, just purely and simply because the regulators are making it harder and harder to to um, to find a frequency that you can use. You already have to now have uh, if you want to use on, uh, if you want to use the official channel for analog wireless, which is channel 38, you have to have an annual license, a bit like a television license, to be able to use it. So as well as the cost of the system, you've got an on cost every year to carry on using it, which you don't have with uh, digital systems. The only thing that I, you know, personally, the only criticism I've got of digital still is as you begin to walk out of range. So you know, hopefully we're going to be able to demonstrate how far away we can get with. An analog system, as you walk out of range, you get like a crackly thing happening, which actually doesn't sound that horrific. It's a bit like an FM radio when it sort of you start to get a bit of break up on the channel, and you sort of think to yourself, "Oh, okay, I can hopefully walk back into range before the audience notices." Digital stuff, if you've ever seen like interference on DAB or interference on um, like a digital satellite channel, it goes much more sort of pixelated and awful sounding when you start to go out of range. So that that's my only kind of this this should critique. Just, this should would just kind of completely drop out. Yeah. Um, on the subject of that, we should talk about the range yeah. in terms of the three different systems as well. You have 100 feet on the G30. Yeah. Um, you've got 200 feet on the G50. You've got 300 yeah. foot on the, on the GS. So it's certainly awesome. big enough for any gig that I'm yeah. likely That's to play That's supposed to be line of sight, isn't it? it is, now, we're not able to do 300 feet <coughs> line of sight here, so we're going to be, you know, hoping that the signal goes through walls and stuff. So we're just going to, like, run around and go crazy and stuff, man. So Rob's system, Rob's got G90. Uh, Joe 90. Why, why is the G90 uh, better again or the next well, one up? G90 is your, is your really pro touring, touring system. Uh, you've got 14 channels on this yeah. system now. Um, it, it's Again, you can use it worldwide. It doesn't run with a power supply. It actually uses the Euroly in the back oh, of there. Okay. So, and it's got a switchable power supply actually yeah. inside there. Um, and just a, a rack, a rack so on case, you can use paddle antenna as well. You yeah, can you can have your antenna. aerials front or back. Presumably yeah. use extensions and things yeah. if you need to. Yeah. Um, just one of the thing, one of the features that's on all three of these systems is something called cable tone. Yeah. Um, are we gimmick here, or is this a real no, it, feature? It, it, it does make a difference. It's fairly subtle at, at, at low volumes, but it's quite it's quite interesting when you think of the way if you have a normal electric guitar amp, it's kind of voiced and to have treble rolled off by the cables. If you've got 20 foot cable, it's gonna roll off some of the presence, it's gonna roll off some of that top end. Yeah. With the Line 6 system, basically what you put into it is exactly what you get out of it. There's no loss of no loss of top end, no loss of anything going on there. Um, so as a result of that, each of the radio systems actually will have a cable modeling on there. So we'll roll off that top cable end. Cable modeling. I never cable thought I'd Can I say and I'm skeptical? That's on all the systems. I'm gonna say I'm skeptical about that. Right, well, okay, so. Can I? I'll make a noise. At this point, it is get, apparent, apparently it makes much more difference on acoustic instruments. If you're uh, using okay. a wireless system for acoustic guitar, that's something that's got a lot more presence, a lot more top end. So but if I'm using like a Hello Kitty needed. Strat with EMGs, they probably wouldn't notice it so much. You, you'll notice a very, very slight, very, very slight difference. Okay. But it's certainly acoustic things. But it's, it's a cool thing. It's a cool thing now. Can you hear Paul? Yes. Can you hear Chappers? Okay. Oh, hang on. Don't play. Yeah, so we can hear Paul? Yeah. Can we hear Chappers? Yeah. yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah. Right, go. let's go. 
Let's but, but, see how far we can go. <laughs> we need a cameraman with us. Elves, and, follow us. I must say, all I've got is a horrible noise in my headphones at the moment of all of them. Right, let's pan them. We've got 30. Leave in middle. Right. It's exciting. Go. <laughs> Where is he down the tap? Uber Noodle. Right now. Uber Noodle. <laughs> Got three bloody tunes going on. <laughs> Yeah, think about these properly. It's in the same key, I'm not. <laughs> no, they're just all over the place. <laughs> We're gonna get run over. <laughs> <laughs> we still be heard. Right, let's, let's go, let's go. Yeah, come on. Uh, I've lost the 90. You lost what? Oh, no, 90's back. 90's back. Oh, 50's dropped out. 50's gone. Ah! 50's gone. Then. You keep going. Okay, keep going. 90 and the 50 are being intermittent, the 30 is still strong. Oh, now I've lost the 30. You've lost what, sorry? Oh, no, 30 uh, 30's dropping in and out. That's only it drops. They've all gone. They've all gone. Right, that's it! That's it! You're gone! How far is that? The long way! <laughs> How far are they gone? gone? Go and have a look, Pablo. How far are they gone? Uh, pretty much just up to the speed bump. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 50's back, I've got a lot of noise. Yeah, they're on the way back. They basically got to my bad. <laughs> yeah. I would say... I reckon that's a lot of it is to do with the um, building. It's a hard job being a demonstrator for Andertons, but somebody had to, uh, to do it for society. And I felt that it was my, my role in life to bring YouTube the goodness that is gear demonstration, product, information. He's so charitable. And Christmas elves. So, I don't, what did that prove? Well, it proves that <laughs> Line 6 over engineers things because it can go through a building. <laughs> so yeah, we, we basically went through a kind of a breeze block, solid wall, started to walk down the street. I think even the, even the system that, that uh, stopped working first, we were, we were more than far enough away for you to be able to do any kind of a gig, you know, even on a 50 foot wide stage. Yeah, it was insane. We were a long way, and there were cars in the way. Yeah. If you drew a line of sight from, from these units, stop it out, <laughs> to, to our guitars, it would have been three cars, through buildings. That's, cool. a, that's an amazing job. So there we go. So I hope that's kind of helped uh, you know, tell you a little about Line 6. For pricing, you just have to go to andertons.co.uk. All the pricing will be there. Search for Line 6 Relay Systems, because that's what they're called. <laughs> and if you're feeling left out as a singer, or you're feeling left out of someone who might want a lapel or a headset mic, uh, they make those as well, so you'll be able to find out about those at Andertons too. I think it's about the liberation and awesomeness of being able to pull cool stage antics because you've got a cool thing attached to your, your belt rather than like a massive cable that gets in the way of your bassist. This could be a good option I, too. I do, I must say, I totally, totally love the idea the of this double being a, the pedal, like a pedal receiver as opposed to a, one that would have to be on my amp. So, good job for engineering that. Um, but that's it. I've been Captain Santa. I've been Rob Chapman. I'm Paul. <laughs> See you Bye. <laughs>